All right, in this video, we're gonna to attempt to teach you all of the 10 axes that this NTX 1000 SZ has. First, as a reference, we do have this diagram here which lays it out for you also, um, but hopefully I can better describe them in this video. So the first axis we're gonna look at is the x-axis on the lower turret, or H2, okay? The first direction we're going to see is X minus. X minus is always going to be towards the center of the spindle. So we're going in the up direction for X minus on the lower turret. Next axis you're going to see is a Z in the negative direction. It's always going to be negative, it's always going to be towards your main spindle and away from your sub spindle. X positive is always going to be away from your spindle. So on the lower turret, it's going to be in the down direction, as we're seeing. Z positive is always going to be away from your spindle. All right, next we're going to look at all the axes on our milling spindle or our head one first axis you're going to see is X again. Just like on the lower turret, X minus is going to bring you towards the center of your bar stop. So there's X minus. Z minus, which we're going to see, is again going towards the main spindle. X positive is away from your spindle. Z positive is away from the main spindle but towards the sub spindle. Next axis we're going to look at is a Y axis. The Y axis is the in and out motion of our head one. So Y positive is going to come towards the operator. Y minus is going to go away from the operator. Next axis is the B axis, which is the rotation of this head one. The negative direction is going to look like this. This is a B minus 45 move. Conversely, positive is gonna go there. That's a B positive 45. And then back to B zero. Next axis we're gonna look at are the C axis. C1 is our main spindle. You're going to see a positive direction here, which if you're looking at the front is clockwise. C minus is going to be counterclockwise. Now C2 on our sub spindle, C positive is the same direction as our main. So if you're looking at it from the front side, it's going to be counterclockwise. Now a C negative is going to look clockwise on the sub spindle. Then we have our BW axis, which is the whole rotation of our sub spindle. We typically only use four positions. Uh, the four, first position is a BW minus 25. That's gonna tip it up like that so that we can tip the head one to match that and do any face work without interference to the main shuff. Next you're gonna see a BW minus 90. That's gonna sit it up straight vertical like that. Now that's gonna allow us to tip this to 90 degrees and work on the front of this workpiece. Then you're gonna see a BW minus 195, which is going to tip it so that the part drop can happen. Part shoot is over here. And then lastly on that BW axis we use, of course, BW0, which is going to place it just like that in line with the main spindle. 
And then this is our last axis, our tenth axis, which is the A, which is the movement of the whole subspindle assembly. That was an A minus move. And then the A positive is going to go away from the main spindle. That's your A positive. Now again, this is a lot of axes to try to remember, which is why we've given you this diagram to always refer back to when making your offset adjustments.